So this is how we commute to our dive site. And it's a little bit of an obstacle. Get out here. Show you. Here's what we have. We are on about we're out on the middle of Lake Bonnie. And there's about 12 feet of ice between the top and the lake and the water. But this jagged surface right here makes kind of an obstacle to get around. The other problem that we have is that these dark spots where the sediment has landed on the ice and it is kind of melted the top of the ice out. And so if you punch through here, go down, you won't fall into the lake, but there are puddles of water, sometimes where you could break through like to your knees or hips, kind of scrape your shins up a little bit. So places like that you don't stand. So we stay up on the top and just hope we don't slip through, scrape the knees up. So we'll keep on aiming towards camp. You see camp up there on the hill. Usually takes about uh, 30 minutes of hopping through here. Almost kind of like walking through a minefield, wondering which one of these steps we uh, punch through into that little uh, layer of water below. But so far so good. Thought I'd show you the hole that they're diving in. It is definitely below freezing point here. There's Ian over there getting ready for the day, testing up the equipment. But uh, having to break through again so we could uh, get our divers in the hall. So there's the first chore of the day. This is the equipment that was used to melt the hull. They don't drill the hull, but they melt the hull in the ice. They've got the big water boiler there. And then they heat up a, a copper tube and put it down through the ice and then it heats up. And over a period of a couple of days, they end up with this hull that uh, they've been going down through. So no drilling involved. It's all melting. So right now James is down diving and he is under the ice this way headed over towards what is called the moat. See between the soil and the ice is that melt zone. And so he's studying the bottom of the lake from about where you see that ice down here to the opening of the hole. They're finding bacterial mats and um, other life underneath the ice here. Quite a little ecosystem down there. And then we could do that same. I don't know. How do I? Here, wait, I gotta get. February shot, I gotta look good. Now nah, looking good, man. There you go. Are you videoing? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, there's James. 
All right, we're here on Lake Bonnie doing uh, the diving. Ian and James, and uh, Sean is down the hole. You can see the umbilical, and I understand he could be seen over there on the shore underneath the ice. So we're gonna take a quick little walk over there and see if we could see him. There you can see the bubbles starting to show. Gonna hope not to uh, go through the ice here. Walk lightly. Oh, there he is. He's down there. Uh... Oh, there he goes. So he's down there sampling mats, uh, cyanobacteria, bacteria that photosynthesize. Uh, we'll get you some pictures of that when he comes up. But uh, being very careful not to touch the ground, he's using the ice to put his back against to do the work down underneath. There you can see about how far out he is. There's uh, Ian out there uh, tending his line for him. So Nice job if you don't want to be behind a desk. You'd rather be under ice in Antarctica. So there's Sean. You can see him underneath the ice. He's uh, just a couple of feet from the shore there. This is what they call the moat. This is where the slime experiment will be going on. The soil and lake experiment. There he goes. Sean just surfaced and brought up these samples. Wanted to show you what he had been down there collecting. But uh, these are some of the bacterial mats in the soil samples that he's collected. He do a lot of work when they're down there. They're not down there just looking. So they've got quite a cool system set up here with these bottles and these syringes 
these tubes they go down to collect, then they're going to go into the lab and uh, see what uh, organisms are in there, get them all classified and counted. So a lot of science going out on out here under the ice of uh, Lake Bonnie. It's been a long day. It's uh, about 8.30 at night. We've done uh, six dives out here. And this is uh, Ian. He is uh, refilling our tanks. We'll be ready for another dive tomorrow. So we're kind of getting packed up. We'll be heading back ready for dinner. We understand the helicopter pilot brought in some pizza for us today. So we'll throw that in the oven and see if we can get that one going. Right there behind me is Isha and Shasta, and they are studying the water column in this area. So they're dropping down some instruments that can collect water in the water column at different depths. And they study the chemistry that uh, is in the water here. So a lot of different groups studying uh, this area. So we'll probably see you back at camp. And uh, we're moving our equipment to another spot. So you'll see how it's going to be moving. any day.